Advanced Part Design. CATIA 3D Experience allows you to perform complex design tasks thanks to the CATIA Part Design app. Let's discover in this video some of the new and advanced capabilities. Let's proceed to the design of the brake caliper body with a CATIA Part Design app using an associative feature-based modeling approach. In order to be more productive when generating simple 3D features, you can now create a pad directly from the 3D space. That way, a pad feature is then created in the specification tree. Double clicking on it enables you to quickly edit and retrieve the complete definition panel with all its options. The only thing you need to do is to select the right surface or element, activate the robot mode, from the contextual toolbar and pull in the right direction. As you can see, creating a 3D element becomes very intuitive. No need to waste your time searching for the right operation in the action bar anymore. Everything can be directly done from the 3D model. Since the brake caliper is a cast part, we have to take into account its manufacturing constraints during the design process by adding draft faces. The next step consists of the union of the newly created body in yellow with an existing one. In order to do so, you can use the union trim function, which allows you to select the faces to remove when combining the two bodies. For the rest of the design, contextual actions help you create pocket features. With 3D Experience, speed up the definition of repetitive, complex, or sensitive design elements. You can see how easy it is to create a new sketch just by selecting a plane in 3D. When you select an element, the contextual toolbar suggests a series of features in accordance with what you selected. During the part refinement, you can add fillets just by selecting the edge in local mode and pulling on the arrow. The values of the virtual ruler scroll again and just as before, you can either select the dimensions or type in the right ones. An edge fillet is then created in the specification tree and can be edited. An alternative to filleting the corners one by one is a very useful auto fillet command. You basically only have to select the faces of the part where you do not want any fillet, functional faces for example. And as you can see, everything else is done for you. The repeat mode enables you to quickly repeat the operation. Double clicking on whole allows you to repeat the operation without coming back to the action bar. The hole can then be edited and different types of holes are available. Here the counterboard type is selected to receive a screw. Also, different standards are available, in this case, M6. Another interesting function is the Semantic Painter. It gives you the same properties to different elements. 
On this example, a hole is first selected. Then after clicking on Semantic Painter, selecting the other holes gives them the same characteristics as the first one. The tool also works with chamfers and fillets. One last great example of the usefulness of the robot direct manipulation is the new way patterns can be created. Say you want to duplicate this hole. After selection of the suitable access for duplication, press the control key and drag the element to reproduce it. You can modify the number of times by typing in a different number in the count and modifying the distance. The operation is once again done faster than it would have been after spending time finding the corresponding icon in the action bar and filling in the definition panel. After completion of the design part, checks can be processed. Draft analysis is a feature specifically dedicated to cast and forge parts, ensuring that part can be manufactured or unmolded. When a part is colored in blue, it means it conforms. In red, the draft angle is not respected. When it concerns the inner part of a hole, it happens to be irrelevant since other processes of machining will be involved later on. You can manipulate the robot to make sure that each 3D element can be unmolded from the interior and the exterior. It is important to notice that the part is colored in blue all around the part. However, if there was a small place colored in red, it would mean that one side will get trapped. The wall thickness analysis, another checking function, gives the colored aspect verifying if you have a constant thickness or if you are above the minimum thickness of the part. When you explore the object with your mouse, values of thicknesses are given. With Katia Part Design, you can manage complex tasks with powerful multi-body design operations while taking into account the manufacturability constraints. Also, it allows you to complete any part definition with the advanced and robust dress-up features. Plus, our solution reduces time to market since your product design is accelerated with our intuitive and productive user interface and that you can check the validity of your product 